I've been playing drums for many years, so I got a lot of techniques, but here none of those techniques work because there's a lot more pressure underwater when I play. So when I have to move from A to B, I need to actually use a lot of strength in my arm. så er det meget, meget vigtigt, at man slår på det helt rigtige punkt. Slår man bare nogle få millimeter væk fra det optimale punkt på syngeskolene, så kan lyden ændre sig ret meget. Så derfor så har vi målt alle syngeskolene op og fundet ud af, hvor, hvor lyder de bedst. Det var bare det problem, at den ene dag så lød vi helt vildt godt med en meget lang efterklang, og den anden dag så sagde det bare klop, så var der ikke ret meget lyd. One of the problems with working in small water tanks is the presence of little unwanted air bubbles. The presence of bubbles can greatly change the way these instruments sound. So I'm going to do a little demo that shows exactly how that works. Tap on the glass, and you can hear that loud ringing sound. There are no bubbles in it right now. But what I'm going to do is squirt some water into the glass, and when I squirt the water into the glass, it's going to entrain bubbles. And uh, I'll keep tapping while doing that, and you'll hear the way the sound uh, of the glass changes. We need the air to get away from the water before we can play a concert. Whenever I hit the bass drum, I can actually feel the, the water vibrate. It's like such a strange feeling and I really love that other people could also feel how this feels. Because one thing is to hear the sounds coming from this aquarium. Another thing is to, is to feel the sounds. 